We're a nursery sector product developer and manufacturer, and we're also looking to enter the travel sector in the future as well. We had the initial idea for the product on a family day out four years ago. So Innovation Makers came to us in 2013, and they wanted to develop a highly portable um, children's stroller that filled a gap in the market that hadn't really been satisfied by the, the products that were already on the market. It's a full-size, normal height pushchair that compacts into a rucksack um, that is small enough to go into um, cabin baggage on an aircraft. Before we get started on the project, there's, there's a few things actually that is really important that we're aware of. Unfortunately, a lot of things come down to money, so budget is one of the kind of key requirements. We went to um, a bank in the very early stages and we got a £9,000 loan that got us ready for commercialisation in terms of uh, protecting the IP. To get it to a certain point with a project of the size and complexity of a baby buggy, they were always going to need investment. So it's a question of, of how we best use their available funds to get them investment ready. From from programmes like Dragon's Den, you know, people are quite aware now that if you pitch for investment, one of the first questions is going to be, well, what's the IP protection on this? Have you got a patent? Uh, my name's Vicky Strachan. I'm a partner at Wynne Jones IP. We're a firm of intellectual property experts and we specialise in patents, trademarks and designs. My specialism, my passion, if you like, is working with startups, being there right at the beginning and watching it grow and guiding clients. We prepared technical specification packs that describe the functionality of key components to ensure that the protection was robust. What they don't want to be doing is putting a lot of money into a project only to find that someone else has already got routes to market. And we keep in touch throughout the entire development process uh, until the time comes that the, the client actually wants to go ahead and file a patent application or a design application and, and, and secure the protection that they need. And once we were ready at that stage, we looked and started the, the, the long road to seeking equity investment over two funding rounds over just over a year. One of the necessities of crowdfunding was certainly the fact that we had to have IP in place. Certainly, we don't believe we would have got the investment level that we have without having IP protection. That's certainly something that investors look for, is the fact that they have IP in place to protect their interests. I think the widespread success of that type of funding has led to there, there being a body of, I guess, unscrupulous people who watch those sites and pick up on good ideas and run with them long before the person whose idea it was has managed to get the money together and, and gone through the development process. So I think there is an element of that and, 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 and that does make that initial protection, even if the product's not finished yet, it does make that initial protection even if it's, if it's nothing more than, than a concept and a set of CAD drawings and a bit of market research to see what protection is available for that because there are unscrupulous people out there picking out ideas and being in a position to run with them immediately to make it first to market. We could have gone through the phone book and gone, well, let's, let's find an IP company. This IP company is perhaps cheaper or this one is, uh, is closer to where our business is based. But at the end of the day, the decisions in terms of IP were made around the expertise that Vicky Strachan and, and Wynne Jones could actually bring to the business. So that is always the primary motivator for us with all of our partners, the value that they add to our business to give us the competitive advantage that we need in what is a very crowded market. The removal of the casters in favour of Omni Wheels is something that is unique in that product sector. It's a great innovation. So we develop a uh, 3D digital CAD model of the product and then over multiple iterations of that CAD model and multiple iterations of physical prototypes, we refine the product, we refine the mechanics, we refine the ergonomics, the functionality, how it's going to look and feel. Slowly but surely you get towards what's going to be the final product, um, each time getting better and better. Oh, as well as the Omni Wheel, there were considerations on how we would um, utilise it and wear it on someone's back, which is one of the major USPs as well. We won multiple awards, Startup Business of the Year 2014, Runner Up Business of the Year 2014, Gadget Show Live Award for 2015 for Invention of the Year, and we also won the Baby Products Association Award. Marcus and Samantha, because the idea was born from a real life situation and then followed, doggedly followed that, that dream, that faith in their product through to the end to produce something that they've solved them all in a well-engineered, well-manufactured product that I believe, uh, I mean it's such early days, but I believe will be exceptionally successful in the market.